Hello everybody, it's BlogTuck, and today I am going to be showing you how you can use World Edit in Minecraft 1.18. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and sharing this video with your friends. Alright everybody, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab a wand. Now to do that, you want to enter in the command double slash double slash wand and then hit enter and boom, a wooden axe will appear into your inventory and a chat message will pop up that says um, left click select pose 1, right click select pose 2. Now, if the wand button does not pop up for you, then that means that you need to download and install World Edit. And lucky for you, I just made a video yesterday that will show you exactly how you can download and install World Edit in Minecraft 1.18. Now, before we begin using World Edit, there is one other little thing that I would like to share with you, and that is the fact that you need to have cheats turned on in your world. If you don't have cheats turned on in your Minecraft world, then you cannot use World Edit. So once you download World Edit and you turn cheats on and you get your Minecraft wand, you should be ready to learn how to use World Edit. So the first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is the set command. So whenever you are getting ready to place blocks of World Edit, the first thing you need to do is you need to select different blocks. So I'm just going to select two random blocks on the ground. And to do that, all you have to do is left click on the first block you want to select and right click on the second block that you want to select. And you can select blocks in different elevations and um, different types of blocks as well. So once you select your two blocks, you want to go ahead and type in the command double slash double slash. And in case you didn't know, by typing in two slashes, that is the basic um, world edit command function. So for regular Minecraft commands, you want to type in one slash. For world edit commands, you want to type in two slashes. And now we're going to type out the word set, and we're going to type out the word stone, and we're going to hit enter. And as you can see, the area that I have selected has just turned into stone. Now, if we select these same positions again, at the exact same corner, and we type in set oak planks, then you can see that our little um, area here will turn into oak planks. And you can set this area to whatever type of block that you want. And that is pretty much all that you have to do to use the set command. So the next command that I'm going to show you how to use is the walls command. And the walls command is very useful if you want to make a wall around something. So the first thing you want to do is make your wall however tall you want it to be. And then go ahead and select the first position. And go ahead and select the second position and now you want to do double slash walls all lowercase and then you want to hit space and type in whatever block you want so we'll just go ahead and make the walls spruce planks hit enter and boom as you can see there is a nice little wall around our um, area here so we've already used the set command we've already used the um walls command the next command that i'm going to show you how to use is the undo command now the undo command is probably one of the best commands that world edit has to offer because you will make mistakes using world edit and sometimes those mistakes can be very large however the world edit developers give you the option to undo any action you make using world edit simply by typing double slash undo and hitting enter and as you can see our lovely spruce walls that we've just made have now disappeared because we use the undo command. And the best part about it is you can even use the undo command again and it will undo all of your changes. And so as you can see, we are right back to square one. And the only reason that these red wool blocks did not disappear is because we manually placed these blocks. And so you can use the undo command to undo everything that you make with World Edit. However, if you save and quit your Minecraft world and then rejoin, you will not be able to undo any previous commands that you used. So basically, once you save the world, the undo command locks up and you cannot um, undo things that you've already done. Now, what happens if you accidentally hit the undo command, but then you realize that you want to redo it? Well, you can go ahead and type in double slash redo and hit enter, and it will go ahead and redo everything that is done. And so if we do this multiple times, then eventually our spruce walls will reappear right like that. And so that is a very useful command. So the next thing that we're going to learn how to do is we're going to learn how to use the stack command. So, the stack command is very useful whenever you're building a lot of things in Minecraft, especially roads, and it's very simple to use. So all you have to do is place a block or several blocks along the ground, and go ahead and select the first block, and then the second block, 
and you want to make sure that you have all the blocks encompassed. So if I select this one and that one, then it gets all three of these blocks in the um, world edit rectangle. And you want to do double slash stack. And now you get to choose a number. So um, if I do the number 10, then it's going to stack this 10 blocks. And then you can pick a direction. So you can do back, down, east, forward, etc. So if I click on forward and hit enter, then boom, it's going to stack 10 forward. And if we count this out, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then you can see that the command works pretty well. Because we had our original one block line here. And then we stacked it so that it extended out to be 10 more blocks. For a total of 11 blocks. And that is pretty much all you have to do to use the stack command. So the next command that we're going to learn how to use is the copy and the rotate command. So first, we are going to learn how to use the copy command. To use the copy command, you want to go ahead and select your region by um, left-clicking at your position 1 and right-clicking at your position 2. And then you want to find a good recognizable spot to copy this build. So we are going to do double slash, and we're going to type in copy and hit enter. And now we can fly to any section of our Minecraft world, and it can be on the ground or it can be in the air. It can be different elevations. And we are going to go ahead and type in double slash paste and hit enter. And when you enter in the paste command, it will go ahead and paste your um, region that you've copied to wherever you have it set. So as you can see over there, we copied it at the bottom left corner of that um, region of red wool blocks. And then when we hit paste, you can see that it appeared with this corner as the left corner and it stacks just like that. And if we do the undo command and paste it in a different spot, like on the ground, then you can see that it is at the same elevation as that one over there. Now, copying pasting is relatively simple, but the number one thing to remember is to make sure that you're copying in a recognizable place. So let me show you what happens if you copy something that, and you don't really know where you're copying. So if I make my region and I fly away up here, and I just randomly copy, and now I'm going to go paste it. Then, as you can see, it is going to basically be inside the ground, and it's not going to show up because it's in the ground. Likewise, if I fly up farther and I paste it, then it is going to appear way down there and way off to the side, which is not where we want it to be. But if you copy and paste it in a recognizable spot, like right here, at this bottom left corner or you can use a different area like the middle or the right but for this tutorial i'm just using the left so if we copy that and then we paste it then you can see it appears right where we want it and that's all you have to do to copy so once you learn how to use the copy command you can learn how to use the rotate command so for the rotate command i will just go ahead and um build something right here so we'll just make this there we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and select the region. And I'll go ahead and go up here to select my second one and remove those. There we go. And just like we learned for the copy command, you want to copy it at a recognizable position. So hit the copy. And now if you want to rotate it, you can go ahead and go to wherever you want to um, paste it. And you want to enter the command double slash rotate. And after you type out the word rotate, you can choose between 90, 180, and 270 degrees. And 90 degrees is going to be rotating um, 90 degrees, so it's going to be going to the right. 180 degrees is going to be flipped directly. And then 270 degrees is going to be to the left. And it is, and word edit does work clockwise as far as the degrees are concerned. So if we rotate 180, hit enter, and then do double slash paste, then you can see that our little structure here has appeared right behind me. Now, likewise, you can do the same thing. So if we rotate 90 and hit enter and hit paste, it is going to rotate um, 90 degrees clockwise. Now, the reason it rotated 90 degrees clockwise um, from this point is because we already rotated it 180 degrees and then we rotated it another 90 degrees And so that is pretty much the same thing as rotating it 270 degrees. So I hope that that makes sense 
So once that you learn how to use the rotate command, we can learn how to use the um, replace command. And the replace command is very useful if you want to make like different kinds of terrain. So I'm going to go ahead and select a position along the ground here. And I am just going to type out replace. And now I'm going to choose grass block and then hit space and I'm going to choose a different block. So we'll just use stone and we'll hit enter. And as you can see, um, the area that I've selected, all of the grass blocks in the area have turned into stone. Now you may be wondering, well, why don't you just use the set command because it's shorter and the set command does the exact same thing. Well, that is because the um, replace command can get a little bit more specific. So now that we have this region of stone blocks, if we go ahead and do double slash and type out the word replace, and then type out the word stone, then we can actually get into percentages. So if we replace the stone with 50% grass and 50% puzzle and hit enter, then it will turn into a um, land that looks like this. And this is definitely not something that you can achieve with the set command. And you can add up all of the percentages for different blocks as much as you want. But the number one thing to remember for the replace command is that when you're replacing blocks, you want to make sure that all of the percentages add up to 100%. You don't want to have anything more than 100%, and you don't want to have anything less than 100%. It has to be exactly 100%. And so there are only a few more commands left to learn for um, using World Edit in Minecraft 1.18. And this is, next command is going to basically allow you to make a circle around wherever you're standing. So we're going to go ahead and enter in the double slash. And now we're going to type out HCYL. And we are going to choose a block. So we'll just choose stone. And now you want to choose a radius. So basically the radius, if we make it four blocks, and hit enter, then from right where we're standing, you're gonna see one, two, three, four blocks away. And you can do the same thing for any position that you're standing on. Um, the radius for the stone will be four blocks away. And that is pretty much all you have to do. And this command is very useful for whenever you want to make a circle in your microphone because it does it exactly precise. And you can even enter in as many different radiuses as you want. And so that is pretty much all you have to do for that command. And so with that, we only have one more command left to learn in World Edit for Minecraft 1.18, and that is the schematics command. So I'm just going to build a little structure here, and I'm going to select a position, and I am going to copy this. And now that I've copied it, I want to transport this lovely structure here that I've created in World Edit to another Minecraft world that I have. So to do that, you can actually use Word Edit to copy and paste something that you build from one Minecraft world and paste it into another Minecraft world. So now that we've copied this, you want to go ahead and enter in double slash and you want to type out the word scheme. Matic, and then you want to put in save and now you want to give your schematic a name so we will just go ahead and name this red wool and whenever you're naming a schematic you don't want to include any spaces in your schematic name or else it won't work so you have to make it like all one word and once you give your schematic a name then you can hit the enter button and it will go ahead and save your minecraft schematic so now we can go ahead and save and quit from this minecraft world and we can go ahead and open up a, another Minecraft world. So we'll just choose this one since it's already set to 1.18. And so here we are in our different Minecraft world. And now that you have your different Minecraft world loaded up, you can do double slash and you want to type in schematic. And then you want to put load. And you want to go ahead and type out the name of your schematic. And you have to make sure that you remember the name that you named your schematic and you have to remember the exact spelling or else it's not going to work. And so we just made the schematic red wool. So we're going to go ahead and use that one. And now we're going to hit enter. And now that our red wool schematic is loaded, we can paste it. So we'll just do double slash paste. 
hit enter, and boom. Our lovely Minecraft creation is transported from one world to another. And so with that, that is pretty much all you need to learn how to do in order to use World Edit in Minecraft. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching and have a great day.